Whoa, whoa! Other installments of this expansion. <laughs> Continue on where I left off, dig up dirt. Means I gotta go to the back. This is gonna be interesting. Steal their beer. This is not happening to me. I, I, I must be somebody else. I'll just have a beer if you don't want. What the heck? What's going on? Um... I just learned my son is a junkie. When the police arrested him for using. Not my proudest moment as a mother, I tell you. You seem to have gone a bit see-through. Když se podívám, co tady ty augové Yes, since 2017. However, this particular building was completed in 2024, and since then has acted as the head office. Very impressive. <coughs> it has also been recognized as a heritage site? Absolutely. You're welcome to go inside and visit. Well, the lobby at least, it does remain a bank. Restricted areas are off limits. Of course. Of course. Unless I decide to open an account. <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure, sir. I'm sure the receptionist will be happy to answer any questions you might have. 
This blade is really quite something, isn't it? An architectural marvel. I'm terrified, Patricia. Yulin is not acting like himself. Ever since the Palisade Bank fired him, he's been so angry and withdrawn. I... Yes, I thought so too, but I was just upstairs and he's not home. I'm worried he's already going through with it. Oh, I didn't tell you? I overheard Yulian talking to one of his former co-workers. This man installed the security system for the bank and was fired along with Yulian. They were planning something. I think they're going to break into the bank. I heard Yulian tell this man that he wants the bank to learn a lesson in humility. That no one fires the most gifted mechanical engineer in Prague and gets away with it. Yes. Goodbye. Please, I have my own problems to worry about right now. Welcome to Palisade Property Bank. That wasn't the best lip syncing going on here. Welcome to the Palisade Property Bank, sir. The lobby is open for visiting. Go with me. See the camp manager to devise a personalized archival plan. Don't trust your data with anything. Absolutely secure. Data extractors have never breached the lobby. Hackers are everywhere. Not here? Exactly. Of course, physical security is also paramount, and Tarvas has an impeccable reputation. They were affiliated with Bell Tower, yes? <clears throat> Formerly, yes, but so were most security companies before the incident. Why don't I schedule a meeting for you with our accounts manager? He can answer all your concerns and start the application process. Hmm, yes. Why don't we do that? Thank you. A pleasure, sir. Oh, there's an e-book. Uh, Bob Page. Course to read. Please see the receptionist. Hello, sir. Welcome to Palisade. May I help you? Not sure. Never been to a property bank? I see. Well, we are the premier secure corporate archive in the world. We offer a number of services, including ultra-secure corporate vaults, as well as executive safes for smaller accounts, exclusivity, anonymity, and security are the cornerstones and our greatest selling point. Makes sense, but security is a major concern for your clients. Oh yes. Everything at Palisade is state-of-the-art. Security measures are audited regularly and Tavos is a very well-respected private security firm. Will there be anything else? Oh, there's lots. Executive safes. Your executive safes are available to anyone? Well, we do have an exclusive clientele, and the application process is rigorous. Despite this, almost all our saves are currently occupied. Your client list must be very impressive. It is. Mostly they are held by executives from our client companies, but some select individuals have been approved as well. But with the same high security standards, I hope. Oh, of course. And access to the executive safe room is restricted. Clients must use their assigned personalized key cards to gain entry. That's all. Sounds a little simple. It's a little bit more involved. The key card also switches off all automated security measures within the vault. Lasers, 
and sentries and the like, all very high tech. How big are the corporate vaults? Doesn't seem like this building would hold that many. Oh, quite big in fact. We call them container vaults. Like shipping containers. Our storage facility is actually right under our feet. Quite an impressive sight. Underground, makes sense. Great security feature. Absolutely. In addition, they are only visited by appointment and require the use of a client's keycard to access. So, this is a data haven? Well, <laughs> we don't use that term here, but yes. We archive highly sensitive materials and documents for some of the most powerful businesses and people in the world. No worries about corporate espionage here. Or government subpoenas. Our international clientele do tend to uh, disagree with the stance of their local governments as it pertains to uh, corporate rights, let's say. So they take advantage of this country's more pro-business legislation? Mm-hmm. Uh, I suppose that's one way of looking at it, if you were a cynic. I prefer to think that our clients shouldn't have to deal with small-minded anti-capitalist bureaucracies if they can avoid it. I think I'd like to see the account manager. I'm sorry, Mr. Romanek is unavailable at the moment. Right. Leave them. Thanks for the information. <coughs> So now I'll just knock you out and... Dig up the door. No, we have not told him. With these attacks and the new elective office, Rob is on the brink of economic collapse. <laughs> to get in her office. Security supervisor. Over here is the account manager. to the AUG incident. That horrible day two years ago when Augment Frickin' TVs are on. Uh, little laptop. Laptops. Oh, a pocket secretary. I apologize for not telling you sooner. Yes, the code to my office was changed after the recent unpleasantness. 
please tell everyone I'm running late because of how hard it is getting in and out of the city. Now the Ruzika station is offline. Thank you, Thomas. Reference email. I need the account close for one of our new clients. How's the code to your office been changed? <coughs> so I've got the code. Thomas's office. supposed to go in there. At least I know uh, where the button is to the safe in there now. <clears throat> yes, sub level security room has our up to date security passwords. Good. Haven't heard from mezzanine level or the corporate mm. vault basement yet. Can you get confirmation from IT? I could. But they would only be able to confirm sending out the codes. Doesn't protocol include that each hub acknowledge receiving security updates? In a perfect world, everyone would follow procedures to the letter. But this isn't a perfect world. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. 
executive mm -hmm. services sites mm -hmm. at the time. Hmm. Level three officers is locked. Really? There's a uh, guard in there. Let's... archived within the walls of Palisade Property Bank <coughs> is beyond the legal jurisdiction of any government. Assured anonymity. Palisade Bank Corporation is now and forever will be the best secure corporate archiving company in the world. Around the clock, around the world. Pike is news. Always watching. Because you are always watching. <coughs> Turning now to Prague. A city still reeling in the wake of a devastating terror attack. Lights are off. Ooh, ooh, ah! I do not need to remind you folks that this is the third <laughs> such attack to strike Prague in six months. All of them occurring after Dr. Talis Rucker, leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition, took up residence. He's got a pocket secretary. You were probably wondering why you were locked out of the second floor security room because Monday. Barabas has updated all the SEC codes for the weekly rotation. New code is at voila. Now you're not locked out of the second floor security room. Have a good week. Neighboring Udalet complex. Dr. Rucker claims his organization is peaceful and merely seeks to ensure the rights of the augmented in a world that has turned against them. But with the United Nations set to debate the Human Restoration Act in a matter of weeks, could the there's a doctor camera out there or something. Tomb? Your guess is as good as mine. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Pikes. Pikes News, the global leader in fair, unbiased, and impartial reporting. And now for a close look at the events making headlines around the world. 
Plus Here hundred. are our top stories. Is freedom of the press a threat to our freedom? In the hands of irresponsible journalists, it can be. Underground websites and radio Pocket stations sector. continue to... And my regenerated all employee identification codes as requested. The new code is the new ID cards are also being created for all employees. Also, the electronic security audit was a success. All systems functioning at peak. There has been an upsurge in cyber attacks, but nothing has been able to breach the lava wall. I do have a couple of suggestions I would like to discuss with you when he gets back. I'll detail all this in my weekly report. The Juggernaut Collective, an elusive group of vigilante hackers for exposing big money corruption. What these journalists overlook, however, is the damage these hackers leave in their wake. Last year, the Collective shut down London's traffic grid, causing gridlock for hours, preventing life-saving medical transports from getting through. In Chile, they committed massive voter fraud when they rigged the electronic voting system and elected a 12-year-old... Not too much space in my inventory. In Russia, hacked combat drones attacked St. Petersburg. And in the US, Damn millions it. of workers lost their jobs when the collective leaked classified corporate documents, causing several Fortune 500 companies to go bankrupt. <clears throat> you and me, folks, the collective is one of the most dangerous. I should have gone to a vendor first. Please see the receptionist. Oh, graphics. What the hell? Something weird going. Great. Need to fill my ticket quota part of the month. There's a Windows 10 update today, I don't know if... That's got anything to do with it. Um, I was going to suggest... I'll find a vendor to sell my stuff. And then return back here again. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next part.